Well, you've manifested someone in your life and you feel like you are so in love. Okay? You're a person who doesn't date outside the box. No, I like that you're being real with what you're manifesting. Nine of Cups over here is like, my happiness, my happiness, my happiness. It's, it's a vibration that you're putting yourself always. That is good. Um, conversation that you and your person has revealed to each other everything. What's love got to do, got to do with it? The lovers. Pak na pak, we call it. Okay. Taurus, are you in love? Well, that's my question. <laughs> okay. We'll figure it out together. Okay. Lovers, a Gemini card is a is a very passionate connection that you have. The first card is strongest, which you're very lucky. Okay. You probably feel like um, everything right now in life, after having this person and meeting this person, you will feel more um, secure with the lovers, like knowing that there's someone there for you, okay? But before we start, the eclipse is coming, and I know there are heavy energies that probably surrounds us and looms us. Our amulet are always here for you, 14K, real gold. We have from Libyan Desert, Maldivite, the works, okay? Um, and of course, the my recommendation is the Om. Love that with real diamonds. And I like the evil eye, the Hamsa. Um, those are the must-haves. Okay. But right now I'm having a silver moment. Um, thank you to David Yerman. <laughs> David Yer I thought you'd say no, no, no. <laughs> to David. Okay, these are all sponsored. No, no. Okay. So check out our silver amulet and protection. Nangarap lang magkar ng Tiffany. Okay. Here we go. Lovers. Okay. So, let's see here. Um, let's see your side first, Taurus. What's your favorite jewelry brand? Okay, you tell me. Spill the tea, Taurus. Jewelry brand. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what kind of level are you living in? So, I don't know. Isn't it we all have like a preference? Like, that's what people say. What's your preference? You know, I don't know. Van Cliff? Mm. Harry Winston? Mm. Or eat, read, love. I love the one that says eat, read, love, Sal. <laughs> eat, read, love. Good. Okay. We love a Taurus that supports another Taurus business. Thank you. Okay. Mm. Those things doesn't manifest. Cartier doesn't. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Well, you've manifested someone in your life and you feel like you are so in love. Not as a feeling, Sal. I just know. You know. You're very fixed. That's what you have. In your side here with the judgment and lovers in the full card, you're jumping for joy. You're celebrating this. You talk about this person to your friends, your family, and everyone, announcing that this is one of the greatest hits of all. Because they do hit you. Not that they hit you, like they hit you from the heart, okay? Judgment, the fool. Can be long distance relationship. Okay, like that. So you're celebrating life, you're enjoying every moment, okay? from what I'm seeing here, it can be a Scorpio. You feel like, oh, like the search is over, okay? Gorgeous, judgment with the full card. You're ready to do things that you've never done before. What does that mean? Um, you're a person who probably is like recluse, okay? You're a person who doesn't date outside the box. But now you're saying here, it's like, no, I feel like this is good. I like where it's going, and I feel like this is something that I'm willing to risk it all. Okay. Zero to 100 with your Scorpio seventh house. So you're giving it all. Okay. Now, how do you make a Taurus fall in love? Put it in the comments. Thank you. Okay. Four of Swords, Queen of Pentacles with the Page of Cups. Um, you have this desire that you haven't told about your person, and it's about, I feel like your person is an artist, okay? Um, I don't know what kind of artist, but they're very much into their art work, art, something about art. Um, they're also about their money, okay? They probably make money out of art, okay? Um, seeing here that you're thinking about the stability in the future of life, and you, you long, not that you long, long for this, like, what is long, long? <laughs> I swear my vocabulary needs some update. Long, long. Um, you crave, not again, it's not about craving. It's about the practicality. There you go. You're very much practical with what you're manifesting. 
And I'm only going to be dating if it's going to be long term and there's future with us. If it's not, then this is not, I'm not into hookup. There you go. Um, which, of course, people would say, like, you know, the hookup culture. Everything is a culture, apparently, with this generation. <laughs> now, when it comes to the high priestess, okay, you know, the only culture that I have growing up, okay, it was called civics and culture, okay, and araling panlipunan, okay. High priestess with a page of ones over here. This is showing that you have someone, okay, that you're very much attracted and you're manifesting this person consistently. That this person is the one. This person is the one. I'm hearing you doing these affirmations every morning, every day. And you're just thinking and embodying like this is the one, this is the one, this is the one. You're good at this. So this is like a mantra that you're doing. You're very much into focusing my energy in this, focusing my energy in this, and this will happen, this will happen. So I like that. Okay. No, I like that you're being real with what you're manifesting. Nine of Cups over here is like my happiness, my happiness, my happiness. It's, it's a vibration that you're putting yourself always. That is good. Okay. Let's see here. Even I myself, like how, like I don't do that as frequent, meaning this, that kind of manifestation, which is good that you, you, you give that to me. Taurus, what is going on here? Okay. Hmm. Meaning the consistency of your mind, you know. Okay, let me see here. So now that this person came into your life, you have also seen this person from your dreams. Okay, so you picture this before it even happened. Maybe a psychic here with the high priestess. Let's see the lovers. Yes. Okay. The future of your you and your soulmate. For others, of course, judgment with a full card is taking a chance on reconciling. Ooh, okay, get six of pentacles coming. Should you give a chance to reconcile with your person? For some, this is the biggest question. Or just take a leap of faith with a full card. And you're asking here with a judgment, what is the next step, Sal? What should I do to manifest and bring this person um to your life? Okay. High priestess. And for others who's asking about like manifestation, does it work? Start with your mind and then think what has happened because you think you keep thinking of it and then watch it if it and if it has unfolded, then chances are you can manifest things to reality. Not everybody can do that. A lot of people are fixed with what they're supposed to get. Not everybody can do that. Mm -hmm. High priestess. Because it's some sort of alignment with the moon. The mind. Some mind is weak. It's not able to manifest. It's just how it is. High priestess over here. There, if there is no contact, this is what you're asking. They want you want them to come back and talk to you and express themselves. Because high priestess is like, I feel like you have consulted readers, um, watch a lot of videos on YouTube or astrology, and you learn something in the mystic in the cult, which means that you have done some sort of magic to bring this soulmate in. Now, I like cleansing, you know, like you could have done that to invite the new energy. Let's go to your person. Woo! Your person is what? I don't know why I'm yelling. Two of cups over here. So it is showing here with the two of cups that your person, if you see that, okay. Your person is about like, um, like let me see here. Um, like they're very much like enjoys the company with you. I'm um, going out on dates. This is a, these are very um, intimate a one-on-one -on -one kind of like uh, um, conversation that you and your person has revealed to each other everything. Okay, that's good. Um, Page of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands. But they haven't been the most consistent person to date. Okay? Not at all. Um, from what I'm seeing here is that your person has their own plans in life and sometimes it's not aligning with your plans. Your person is quite good looking, spiritual, hermit, um, or uh, they like their um, aloning, aloning, what is aloning? <laughs> Alone time, like they like to be in recluse, I forgot what it is called, you know, when a person just likes to extrovert, right, or introvert, whichever, like that, right, um, they intro, introvert, okay, so introvert. Um, six of Wands here is showing that they may like to be around people, but then they like to be by themselves even more. Uh, the Five of Cups over here is showing that they know that they have missed out on a lot of things in the relationship. They know that they could have, they should have asked you out. They could have gone dates with you. They could have all this, but they didn't. So something about the responsibilities um, over 
overlap or overtake or has overtaken their time with you, something like that. Okay. I need an AI for speech, please. <laughs> okay. uh, oh, Mercury is debilitated in Pisces. Thank you. I can blame a planet. <laughs> I'm kidding. You don't blame the planet. Sometimes it's just us. Okay. Here we go. Now, your person is not talking with a hermit, um, but they're consistently praying also, just like you do. Like, to be with you. This is what I'm feeling, hermit. They feel alone in their emperor mode, in their three of cups, nine of cups. Now, okay, this is, uh, this is one thing that I'm seeing from your person is that you may think that they're doing fine and amazing. They're an emperor with the three of cups. People love to be around them. They do all these things that they enjoy in life. You know one thing that they enjoy? It's not about being with the, oh, Taurus, Taurus. You know, you thought like they enjoy all those things. that they You know, like even though they're with that party, three of cups, you know, being with all those people around them who likes to be around them. I feel like they're very much in the, uh, um, they have authority, they have power, they have stature like that. You know, like it's you mm, that they want to spend time with. Isn't that special? But you don't see that though. I know you don't see that. Mm -mm. Knight of Cups over here, they have a very important loving message towards you. Okay, finally things are turning out around for the Taurus. If I can maintain my speech. Okay. <laughs> Knight of Cups. Okay. What's their next action with this Emperor? I feel like they want to be with you with that Emperor. And they always, I feel like they're always planning something. Uh, I'm not sure if they're planning to be with you or but they always share that with you, Emperor. The Two of Cups, what's the future of this soulmate connection? You really love them. They really love you. That's nice. I like that. There's genuine here. Genuine feelings between each other. Six of One is the success that they see in this in the in the connection. But I feel like they always get distracted. And then one minute they're with you 100. Next thing you know, they're gone. The Knight of Wands. Even in the body of an emperor. Very ideal. Very good looking emperor. You're, in the other hand, over here. You love your boot, booty sleep. I'm sorry. <laughs> booty sleep. I'm sorry. Mercury, debilitation. Uh, beauty sleep. Okay. You like that. You're enjoying right now resting and relaxation. You're doing your meditation. You're, do, you're always at the beach. You're always under the sun over here with the Nine of Cups. If it's sunny, um, there are parks that you venture in with the Page of Wands. But you're always, I feel like right now you're in a K2 mode. We're just wondering where life is going to take you. Well, this person, from what I'm seeing, mm -hmm. gorgeous. If you want to learn on how to manifest in a track, try your amulet. If you feel a little bit bugged down, do some cleansing. If you feel like life is delaying you, do a Libyan desert glass. <laughs> okay. Link in the description box below for all my recommendations. Let's see what happens next in the extended. I'll see you guys, Taurus. Bye.